we're going to talk about the data system, about the car data system. Yeah. And if we talk about the car data system, it's forecasted that in 2030, there's a value for it to monetize of 450 to 750 billion. But the question is, how? How? And who can all earn all this money? Of course. Elias, how are telecom service providers going to earn this money? Here we're showing one way where operators could actually move into a completely new value chain, such as, as you're referring to, the automotive industry. We're having a pay-as-you-drive service here, where you step into a car, you drive around in the city, it's only for the time that you're actually driving the car that you get charged for. We're accumulating all of these to a current trip cost. As I pass through the city here, I also go by toll gates. I go by uh, uh, partners such as cafes or any other uh, uh, partners in the city. And as I'm passing in real time, I get not only the distance charged for and all the parking that I'm incurring, but I also get all my costs that I have incurred throughout the city added to my bill. And it's a very flexible system here. So all these new attributes of sorts for an Atelco operator, such as distance, such as parking, such as the partners, is just by configuration, we have added them to the real backend system. And there, here you can see the result of it. Yeah, so if you look to the car, it becomes basically maybe even a 500 API device exactly. where, you, where you can connect, where you can open the trunk, where you can de define the, how you have to sit, what your radio favorites are, you can connect it with the gasoline station. Everything can be connected. Yeah. And the good thing is everything can be measured. Everything can be measured and everything can be charged for Correct. in these metering scenarios. Correct, and then is the question, you work with partners, whether it's the gasoline station, whether it's the payment service provider, whether it's the telecom service provider for the connection, how Local is this? municipalities and so on. And Never. so on. But then it's the question, how are you going to bring all these different partners together? Which is a challenge in yeah. general, like now. Definitely. But, but how can you facilitate that? We foresee that since uh, everyone of us are already connected, we already have a business relationship to our operators. We also see that as a quite natural entry point then to further expand into additional services that are still mobile, such in this city, but it could have just as well been digital services or physical services. And how can you set it up? It, it takes hours, weeks, months? This took us a few days to set up with all of these integrations that are quite novel for us. But once we have done it once, then it's a matter of minutes, I would say. And it's up to the business people. They define a new system, Definitely. how to get paid, connected together. Exactly. And you have a new revenue system. Uh, including discounting, cross promotions, loyalty programs, all of it being tied into a single platform. That's easy. That is easy. And this is how telecom service providers and their partners, everybody who's connected basically to the car, can earn money in the short future with the car as a data monetization system. Already now, actually, we have customers on this. We already have a few customers, not this particular use case, this is more to exemplify that we have flexibility, but we have customers that are deploying it as we speak and going commercially live at mid-year this year. This is great. Thank you. Thank you, Elias. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.